Hi guys. I feel really off today. I feel as though the camera angle's all wrong and I can't seem to get it right. I think that's right. Anyway, right. We're going to get back to doing some more work on the decoupaged journal cover. Decoupaged um, journal journal cover thing. I forgot what I named it now. <laughs> um, I think it were the decoupage journal cover. Anyway, but it's turned into a full-on journal now. So, yep. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me just reorganize myself guys one second got a bit of fluff and all sorts on here going on today um yeah there's the cover the envelopes and the actual journal and um, here is the little box of ephemera box of tricks <laughs> um, yep and there we go right so um in the last video which has been a while um not for you guys but it has for me in the last video i glued on the inside pockets and then i glued the lace onto the journal covers i Thing, uh, journal covers the journal pages I think yeah I think because I think that's the video where I just rambled a load of rubbish at you um, yep envelopes which I was going to put in the front of the journal cover I was going to put these envelopes glue them into the front and back something it really does feel off it feels strange um anywho move up a bit remember to be in the blue mat <laughs> um yeah i was going to glue them in the front and back and then i changed my mind and we used this lace then we or i um that's it i made i glued this together to make a pocket for the middle of the signature that's what i did but i also off camera so that needs to be sorted i also off camera did the book plate the um yeah well what we're going to call the journal cover book plate um and that's just going to go slap bang in the middle of the journal cover or at least i think it is pretty much yeah it's going to go in the middle now i love how this turned out guys i used g's ephemera we are using g kit at g kit no we're not Oh, sorry, G. We are using G Kerr's kit, um, or kit, sir, called the Vintage Kit. The Vintage, oh my, Vintage Collection. Oh, so sorry, honestly. Brain fart moment. The Vintage Collection kit and the Vintage Collection add on kit, I think. Um, I can't remember, but it's definitely the Vintage Collection Kit. Yes, we are using that. Um, that's what the journal pages are. That's what all this ephemera is. Um, yes, and that's what these are as well. These little words came with the kit and this came with the kit as well. It's a little journaling card that I've used to create a book plate. Now, it's not these colours. Can you see? you could if i just didn't knock it out of focus can you see how this has gone a very strange greeny ready to pinky ready tone and then there's green in that and then that down there that's not like that when you print it guys that's because i used wet glue on printed ephemera and i have an inkjet printer so it's the color has run and seeped through but I absolutely love it. I think it looks mega effective. And yeah, that green around that butterfly on this paper, on this like journal, uh, music paper is awesome. Yeah. 
um, and I chose this specific card because of that butterfly and the music paper because that is what the journal cover is was not used G's kit I didn't use G's kits to do the journal cover I just used some music paper and a napkin with butterflies on butterflies and flowers on um but yes but that just tied in so beautifully so that is what we are using um as I said those words and stuff are not like that they are like this you know, so they do have a bit of colour to them. Not much. Focus, please. Thank you. They do have a little bit of colour to them, but not that much colour. <laughs> They're not that colour. Well, as I said, the colours run through on that, which is just awesome. I love it. And um, again, the little card that I used came from one of these. It was one of these style little journal cards and obviously it had a little bit of colour in a bit like this one. A bit like this one, it had a bit of colour in because of the butterfly in the background. And then of course when it got wet with the glue, the colour run through. And I love it. Absolutely love it. It just looks awesome. Anyhow, so that is going to go on the front cover but I'm not going to put that on yet. Um. When we last left off, I had just, I had actually, I think I'd, so, yeah, when we last left off, I'd, I'd glued the um, lace onto the sig signature, but I'd left this hanging on the one before, so I'm just going to cut that off. Do you know, I can't even remember what I did in the last video, guys. It's been that long for me. As I said, not for you guys, but for me it has. Um... This is well and truly glued down now and set, so I'm just going to run along the bottom of the journal cover as my guide. I'll cut this excess lace off. Like so. I don't mind a little bit hanging over. Um, I didn't sew around the bottom, the sewing that you can see is on the actual journal cover, but it's well and truly glued in there, you know, it's, yeah, it's well and truly in there, so that is awesome, that isn't coming out, and I, I believe, I think, from what I can remember, I just used PVA glue for that, don't think I used art glitter glue, I think it was just standard PVA, but I don't know, I may have used Fabri-Tac, I cannot... No, Beacon 3 in 1. I honestly cannot remember off the top of my head right now, guys, without without watching the video. Sorry, guys, I thought I heard somebody come in. <clears throat> no, it must have been the cat or something, because we we haven't had any posts either. But nobody can get in. Well, nobody without a key anyway, which is my husband and my mum, because the door's locked. The front door's locked. I always lock it when I'm in here. Anyway, like I said, I just thought I'd heard somebody come inside to go and investigate, but no, probably the cat. But yeah, so as I was saying, I can't remember what I used to glue it. I'd have to watch the other video, but you know, whatever. It's well and truly stuck in there now anyway. Um, yeah, yeah, the journal cover's not straight, but we don't mind that. Bit of character going on there. Um, yeah. So, as I was saying, we did this as well for the middle. And do you know what, guys? Um, I know at the time I was like, oh, yeah, I love it. It's great. But now I keep looking at it, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, and I found a um, brown bag, brown paper bag that I'm, I'm going to add in as well. I don't, on, honestly, I don't think I like it now. It's the wrong colour. I don't know why I was so, oh yeah, I love that. Let's do that in the last video. Um, although I think it was a bit later on at night time when I was doing it and the colours were a bit different, but I don't like it. So I'm actually not going to use it for this project. I will use it at some stage, but not for this project. So I shall pop that to one side and that is a no-go. Like I said, I'm not entirely sure I can get rid of that. It's all gunky and gluey and it's um, shiny photo paper anyway. So 
Um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what was going through my mind at that particular time, but I don't like it. So it's going. Um, I don't like it now, should I say. So, yeah, we've ditched it. We'll just have to rethink on that one. But I do absolutely love this journal. Oh, the sun's shining through. Um, maybe we just don't need anything in the middle. Maybe we should just let the middle page speak for itself because honestly it is, it's absolutely beautiful. What have we got on there? We've got music paper on there. How about we actually cut the border off that so it's slightly smaller so you get the edging of the music paper? No. Good, yeah, good thinking, but no, I want this to be the focal point, so no. Actually, I might have to print this again. It's got a bit of glue stuck on it. Yeah, I'll print this page again. It's got glue on it. Um, but yeah, it's on that paper as well. So yeah, but yeah, I on the, yeah. I think we should let that middle page just speak for itself. To be honest, I really do. Um, I said, didn't I? I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna saw this one in anyway. Um, so. About the thread let the thread do the talking maybe not gray what about this that's a nice one. Oh, that is nice it's got a bit of red tone in it I don't know if you can tell oh my gosh no I can't see a thing because of the sun actually the sun's helping slightly it's got a bit of a I hope the sun's helping slightly I've got dust and all sorts on my screen right now. I can't see. That's better. Um, yeah, if you can see there, it is a bit of a maroony, purpley, red, deep brown. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's a nice colour. It kind of ties in with that butterfly. Um, but it also looks okay with those flowers. Wow, can you see this? I hope so. I can't see a thing because the sun's shining in now. I can't see through the screen. Oh my gosh. The struggle is real, guys. I like that one. Um, yeah, I like that one as well, but I think I really like that one so far. And I think the other, no, the others are, no. If any, it would be them too, because them are orange. Um, so I think it's going to be a choice between those three. Now that ties in really nicely with that, so does that. That ties in better actually, but I'm really drawn to that. We're going to go with that. We're going to go with that. We are, we are, we are. I'm not going to glue it in right now because like I said, I need to reprint this page. It's got, can you, it's got bits of glue on it for some of the papers missing there. Um, so I will reprint that page, but I think we will go with this thread and we will just let the page and the thread do the talking so in fact I'll leave that thread out I'll put it in the ephemera tub and then I know which thread I'm going to use so I think now we're we're blah, blah, we are on to ephemera now then aren't we now one thing dilemma do I leave the pages squared off or do I round the corners I have a thing about rounded corners I think I'll leave them squared off because of the laces. Yeah. <clears throat> so we've used G's kit pages on some already kind of like aged themed paper that I got from Amazon. Um, it is printed paper. I forgot what it is. It's 120 or something GSM. It's quite substantial paper anyway. And it is print. You can print on it. It's already like that. Already aged. And it just, it's gorgeous. And this kit printed amazing on it. This was, this kit was actually like a test print because I wanted to see what it was like on those papers. So I printed this kit on it and it just turned out beautiful. And I have two different styles of papers. 
and it just again printed there that's the other style it printed absolutely beautifully on both style papers that's the other style oh gosh you can't see yeah that's the other style like a marble one i like that one but this one is definitely my favorite um so yeah like i said i printed on that and then that's my own these are my own actual physical tea dyed papers um that i did a kit of myself that is music paper from my stash again more physical papers and then a page from a book about birds um hmm. I'm just trying to think what to do now, what to do next. Just pop that in the middle or down the bottom, I'll put it in the middle. What to do, what to do, what to do. And then, of course, the middle page, which, as I said, needs printing out again. Right, let's have a look at what we have ephemera-wise, because I'm kind of drawing a bit of a blank now this camera doesn't feel right normally when I bend down I bash my head on it so it's further over that way than normal I feel like it should be over here that's better yes it should be why had it moved um, I have no idea right that's better guys for me anyway Okay, so we have these beautiful cards, and then we have some more beautiful cards, tags, another beautiful card there, some more beautiful tags, lots of words, some spur lace, hmm, I think, let's, let's investigate a little bit there. We have these as well. I think we may, and then we have some bigger ones, the same ephemera but bigger. It's exactly the same as them but bigger. I think some more beautiful cards there. Printed the same ones a couple of times, big and small. Let's have a look at those three. Put that on there. No, maybe glue that on the top or the bottom. Just have an idea. Let's have a look. Map. Yeah, because there's two of each. There's two oval shapes in them, although one's thicker than the other, but that doesn't matter. Um, it is the same, if you can see. It's just that that's the big version and that's a small version, but it is the same. And then on this one, I've cut that off to make, because it was the big version. Um, there it is. I cut that section off of that one to make a smaller one. Um, let's see, what have we got? I'm just wondering about making a belly band. That way. And then using this lace across the top or the bottom. Across the top is probably better. Just to fancy oh, sorry. Just to fancy it up a little bit. Wouldn't need it on the lace. 
on that one but we could also incorporate some of this because this just screams G to me because I know G uses this a lot or one very similar anyway it might not be this exact colour but she does use this trim this style trim a lot in her projects this beautiful floral trim I know she uses that a lot in her projects and also because she uses it a lot in her projects her kits just work so well with it I'm thinking more maybe that as a belly band or how about that on the other pages right. ignore those for the moment I'm going completely off track now how much of this do I have and do I have enough I might not have enough no I might not have enough to do all the pages No, I haven't. So, don't think that's going to look right, is it? No, because it's the wrong colour scheme. No. Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so we've got five of them pages. I know we've got three music pages. And I think it might be too, yeah, the pages are too busy to put something like that on though. So, what about we go that side? down the page as a sideways tuck and then find the other music page there and use the oval shape as maybe an up tuck I like that idea bring it down a little bit and then tuck it up or put it in the middle Could put that in the middle as well couldn't we I think I like that up more actually yeah more towards the top and then do the same on the other sides not these sides on the let's do that Let's do that. <clears throat> so, anyway, guys, how are you all doing? Now I've hushed that through. Right, <laughs> fifteen minutes of being very indecisive. Um, how are you guys doing anyway? I hope you're all okay. Um, things are okay here, sort of. <laughs> yeah, look at that side. Yep, as I said, things are sort of okay here. Um, Taylor's just gone back to school this morning after being off poorly for a couple of days. Um, nothing major. 
just a bit of an upset stomach stomach bug going on thankfully it was only a 24 hour thing because he's had 48 hours clear and he's perfectly fine so he's gone back to school this morning um today is thursday you guys won't be watching this on th today but today is thursday and um they finish school for half term tomorrow on friday and then they're off for a week so happy days he goes back to school for the sake of a day uh, well two days really and then finishes although not too bad because we got a text message this afternoon saying that tomorrow is um halloween celebrations at school which is cool also said um that children must still wear their um, uniform so they're obviously having some kind of a party or something i don't know um but going in full school uniform so i'm just going to go around the edges of this with the archive link black soot i'm doing it black so it ties in with the music paper um yeah so that's not too bad seeing as how he's been off poorly for a couple of I'll do that i need to cut that he's been off poorly for a couple of days so it's nice for him to be going back to some kind of a party um celebration anyway whatever let's just snip that there not even straight don't think that was straight either but we'll snip it there and then i can ink that edge no point inking all of it if i'm gonna cut it off is there um yeah so but other than that everything is good everything's okay um yeah we haven't had any more touch wood we haven't had any more positive cases at school so that's good since last weekend when we had two um so that's good and like i said the children finish tomorrow for half term for a week anyway so that's a week of being able to relax and not think about it too much we have however here in my town my district anyway along with quite a few others um just gone into a tier three lockdown so yep happy days for us although things don't really change that much for us because we don't really go out anywhere um and we can still have the grandchildren because we i mean apart from the fact that they're our grandchildren and we see them once a week we have them once a week we also have them because it provides their parents with respite um so we are actually kind of providing um uh what did they knit i forgot how, i forgot what they worded it as um re relaxed not relaxed i forgot what it were now but it falls under child care um so yeah we don't have them on the same day so and we are their support bubbles anyway so yeah we don't go to them they come to us so it still counts we can still have them so we are for the time being um, and seeing as though this is music paper and black I'm just gonna go around the edge of this as well also because I like this jaggedy edge oh gosh I never thought I'd be sitting here inking <laughs> or take great delight in doing it anyway um, yeah go on i'll finish this one off on camera for you guys and then i will do the rest off camera because i love inking but it does take a while i just want to see what it looks like when it's finished but yes yeah, so um besides all that it was my birthday on monday and i oh wow i was so spoiled such a spoiled little brat <laughs> um but you know you're only 40 once until you get to 80 and then you're 40 twice um 
But yeah, so I've got some absolutely amazing friends and I got some absolutely amazing presents. Thank you all so much. Thank you all so, so very much for the fabulous birthday wishes and lovely messages that I got on social media as well as in my private inbox and text messages for the few people who do have my number. Um, just amazing and honestly... I'm still in a little bubble now, happy bubble, um, yeah, and I'm still getting birthday mail now, so awesome, um, but yeah, pardon me, um, I did a video on Monday showing all the stuff that I got that was here available for me to open on Monday, excuse me, um, and that, that was quite well received um but yeah i've just done another one today as well because i got another parcel yesterday along with another card um that's amazing is that one fabulous i mean it's all amazing it really is like i said i've been so spoiled but yeah so it's been a fun week I'm kind of still in a way celebrating, <laughs> dragging it out as long as I can. Um, right, I really like how that looks. Now it's been inked. That's all I wanted to see really. I just wanted to see what it was like when it was inked. I'll do the rest of it. Off, I'll do the rest off camera. But yeah, so there's one belly band. Um, what we're saying about adding the lace wearing a maybe. Possibly. I don't think I will now. I think I'll just leave that. Um, but yeah, so there's one. And then let's move over to the other one. Which is here. Yeah, so like I said, I've got lots of different presents off people. But I also ended up with a new sewing machine because mine was, well... As I mentioned in one of the videos doing this journal, it was what I call ghosting. So when I took my foot off the pedal, it was still sewing, which really freaky. Um, and not good. Um, but yes, so it was like, oh my word. And after a few times of pulling her apart and having a look inside her and finding out that she's structurally sound inside um, and that there's not really anything we can do we decided or I decided because I need a sewing machine now I may not use my sewing machine all that often I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this um, I may not use my sewing machine all that often but when I, I do need a sewing machine because this reason. Now I do actually sew my journal covers when I make them. I'm just going to use the um, three in one for this, which is like Fabri-Tac. Um, just to make sure it's a good stick, good bond. Because this is material. So, sort of. So, pop that up there. And then wait for it to dry a little bit and then I'm going to stretch it down a bit. Um, but yes, yeah, so I'm like, do you know what? I actually do need a sewing machine. So I went on Amazon and bought one. And it came yesterday and I have just done the unboxing video just before coming on and doing this one. And I've had a play with it and oh my god, I love it! It is awesome. It's also a quilter's stroke embroiderer's machine. So it's got tons of fancy stitches on. My other one, Infernus, had fancy stitches too. But this one's got like a hundred fancy stitches on it. And then it also does letters and numbers. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I got it to do my name. Um, oh, what have I done with that? I don't actually know what I've done with that. But yeah, I actually got it to um, stitch my name. <laughs> I took a picture of it anyway, but yeah. Oh my gosh, it's awesome. Actually, speaking of taking a picture of it. 
now that I don't film on my actual phone. I film on a spare. I can show you, can I? Look. I actually got it to... I actually managed to get it to stitch my name. How cool is that? Isn't that just awesome? <laughs> but yeah, so... New toy, novelty. <laughs> It'll probably wear off soon, but for the time being, like, oh my gosh, amazing. I love it. So, yeah. Okay, so... They're not very tight belly bands, but that's another one in there. And again, I'll link around that later. And then let's find the other music page. There, and then we'll use one of these. Let's use this one, and like I said, up near the top, not right to the top, but up near the top, so you can tuck up and still have it poking out of the top. We'll ink around this one, couldn't ink around the lace. We'll ink around this one, not lace, trim. Oh gosh, I'm out for, sorry! I must make a more conscious effort to check when I've been up close, because I realised in one of the other videos that I was out of focus for ages, at the end of the video but it was still watchable sometimes it's that out of focus it's not watchable but that one was just it was just a little bit blurry but not too bad but yeah so i will make an effort to double check so we'll bring that down a bit i think we'll just put that in line with that second row of fancy tea dye and um, this is just PVA glue it's not art glitter glue whoops see Daisy too much too much um, yeah it's not art glitter glue is this one it's just PVA glue um, not watered down or anything too much so I'll add some on that side like I said it's not watered down or anything so it's just in there no particular reason other than the fact I am running low on fab on art glitter glue and I have actually ordered another bottle after saying I wasn't going to. I have actually ordered another bottle because I do really love art glitter glue but around this time of year when the weather starts to change and get colder Amazon won't always deliver it because under up to a certain temperature um, it gets too cold it freezes so they won't deliver yeah cool like that they won't deliver and equally um in warmer temperatures they won't deliver because it's prone to um getting hot obviously because of the warmer weather it gets hot and it's flammable well actually i don't know about art glitter glue but fabri-tac and um, three in one is flammable so like I said, equally when it gets warmer, they don't like delivering over certain temperatures because it's flammable. So, and of course, it's a danger to the delivery drivers. So, right, I'm going to now work backwards. So, instead of now doing a straight one and then the flowers and then the oval, I'm going to do it oval, flowers, and then straight. So, we're going to do a bit like a mirror image so again that will get glued there on that second row don't know if you can see properly guys but there's a second row of fancy hexagon shapes there so <clears throat> yeah and like I said in one of my other videos I have an absolute ton absolute ton of pva glue so <laughs> from when i was crafting with the kids and when they were little and taylor and his friend a few years ago that way i'm just checking the writing don't want that upside down oh i didn't ink it ah! Luckily PVA takes a while to dry. Um, 
but yes, yeah, so I've lost my train of thought now. What are we talking about? Not that it matters because it was probably just waffling rubbish anyway. But yeah, this kit from G, honestly, I love it. I love all the G's kits. In fact, I've got nearly all of them. Well, I did have all of them until she decided to suddenly bring a lot more out in quick succession. Quick succession. <laughs> um, yeah. But I do have a lot of G's kits because they're just awesome. And I really, really love them. Um, I just need to really, really get around to using them all. <laughs> Because I buy these kits and then they sit in folders on my computer thinking, yeah, I'll do that. And then I never do it. <laughs> and so I'm making a conscious effort now to actually get these kits printed out. And the ones that I have got printed out, I actually use them. Excuse me. So. Okay, so this was the, yep, yeah, this was the la the trim. So we need some more of this. <laughs> Can't believe it's Thursday. G will have another freebie Friday tomorrow. Just wow. I can't believe that's been going as long as it has as well. It she G started doing the freebie Fridays around the time the whole world near enough went into full-on quarantine um and she did like i said she's done a freebie friday friday freebie should i say like every friday ever since apart from she's missed a couple because she was poorly and then she had to have an operation anyway um so we did miss a couple which obviously no problem and no problem at all because they're free you know you can't complain can you um but yeah can't believe it's been so long i think we're on is it 27 freebie friday tomorrow might be 20 28 maybe i'm not sure but yeah they're just awesome um and the recent ones are awesome as well because they've all been autumn theme so they've all been like a autumnal theme um leaves and that sort of thing and beautiful autumn colors autumn fall colors yeah gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and for the last four weeks i remember saying four um for the last four weeks they've all been pretty much the same theme so that with them being the friday they tie in with one of your kits that she's released but also with them being friday freebies there's four different ones and you could you know just with them four freebies you could make make your own little kit with them but yeah fabulous you need to check her out guys if you haven't oh, oh my gosh am i out of focus again i'm sorry so sorry um yeah if you haven't already guys you really need to check g out um her facebook group and her etsy page etsy shop all the links are below. Um, but yeah, there we go. If you are in her Facebook group, the Friday freebies are free, obviously. If not, and you would like to access them, they are available in her Etsy shop. She just charges a minimal fee to cover Etsy fees. Um, but yeah, and I think she does them in groups of four. I'm not sure. But yeah, but definitely go check her out, guys. It's just awesome. What did I do with the other one? There it is. This one, wasn't it? But smaller version. And I think we'll go this way as opposed to that way. So we need to cut it around this blue bit. Probably not straight, but it'll do. Ink it first this time, I remember. But yeah, so... 
Oh, wow, it's quarter past three. I'm just keep an eye on the time tail will be on soon and the front door is locked. <laughs> Not that it matters, because it will knock anyway. Although, I actually know he probably won't do because Pipe Man's not here, so he knows um, if, as much as he's very, it's only ever happened once, um, and that wasn't our fault, that was the school's fault, because they decided to send the kids home early without letting us know. Um, that were a couple of years ago. They said the kids were finishing at normal time, end of term at normal time, and then they sent them home in the afternoon. Great. And as luck would have it, I was across at my mum and dad's, which are only two doors away across the road. Um, like a little side street between us, a little road. I was two doors away having a brew. This were a couple of years ago, like I said. I was across there having a brew with mum, and as luck would have it, um, my husband... And my dad was in the car at the back of his school bus, pretty much following it all the way up here, home. Um, but yeah, so when Taylor got off the school bus and came to come in the house, the door was locked and nobody was home because I was across at my parents having a brew with mum. We were actually just getting ready to go out. And it were like, do you know what, let's have another brew before we go. Um... Yeah, but like I said, as luck would have it, my dad and my husband was in the car at the back of the school bus. Otherwise, the poor child would have been home alone outside as well because he didn't have a key then. He still doesn't now. Um, but back then, he knows anyway, but we drummed it into him back then that, you know, if you ever come home from school and nobody is home, what do you do? And he immediately said stand on the door and wait stand on the doorstep and wait or if nana's car's there which luckily that day it would have been because i was across at mum's um if nana's car's there if the door if nobody answers the door and dad's car's not there that means i'm not in um if nana's car's there then carefully cross the road and go to nana's house i'm like okay well nana's or granddad's car if they're there, then carefully cross the road and go to Nana and Grandad's house. So I'm like, right, okay, no problem, but oh, it proper freaked me out. If he was to come home now and I didn't hear the door, husband's car is not outside, but my mum's car is, so we would just go to mum and dad's. Also, even if my mum's car wasn't outside right now, he would go to my mum and dad's anyway because my dad's still ill. Um, Ill. Well, yeah, he's ill. Um, but Taylor knows that granddad's still at home and can't go out anywhere unsupervised or anything. and So he would go to mum's anyway. But anyway, it ain't going to happen because I'm done now and I'll go and unlock the door and let the poor child in. But yes, so we have a belly band there, which is great for tucking, obviously. Journal cards and things, so we'll have a journal card and let's have a pretty tag in there. And then on the Next one, across from the music paper, we have a material one. That's pretty with that. So let's have... It's got to be that one on it. It ties in really nicely with that. So let's have those two. 